Okay, good evening, good evening, good evening once again, everybody. The previous run had a little bit of technical difficulty, so we've decided to move ahead in the schedule with Borderlands 2, running the Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep DLC, being run by Neko with On the Couch, Mysterious, and just one second. <laughs> Like the 10,000 that I came with. Hey! Hello, it's me again. You'll never be fucking rid of me at this rate. <laughs> right, okay. Um, right, are you ready on time just a sec? Is it going to be the classic 3 2 1 go? Or? Uh, no, it's just going to be a spontaneous go. Oh, no. <laughs> because it's actually the time starts in with a load end. Because oh. uh, as soon as. because. Um, oh, you need to figure out when it finishes loading and then you say go. Yeah, yeah pretty got much. You. So that's enough. really annoying. Right, so. Right, straight up load into the DLC, and that's uh. As soon as it loads, we're gonna say go. Yeah, it's so. stupid because we have to watch a cutscene that we can't skip, but oh well. Oh no. It's because we have control of the character. That's the Borderlands experience, really. Yeah. <laughs> I know that many cutscenes in Borderlands, but I know right, very and you know a lot. Time. Go, go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is and Borderlands Two: Tiny Tina's Assault and Dragon Keep. Uh, I'm just gonna let this cutscene play out a little bit because it's great. Because Tiny Tina, I don't have to really say more. Uh, <laughs> is on the brink of going yeah. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're gonna die. Now. Well for initiative! Oh, she's so cute. What's initiative? If she's not a playable character in Borderlands 3, we're gonna have a riot. What's the initiative? Oh, what's what's the initiative? I wasn't paying attention. I love Rick. Tina, why don't you start over? Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers, bunkers and, and Badasses. As the Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and... Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because that's a hell of 40! Tina? Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. <clears throat> well, our Actually, is definitely the more talented of the Birch siblings. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, pick a character. Yeah. You've got the Necromancer, the Crando, the Siren. 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 My siren's, my siren's name is Brick. She is the prettiest. We've played this game way too much. <laughs> I've played this game in like two years, except for the one run I did in the 12 hour challenge. <laughs> I'm, as soon as I come back from uh, London and everything, I'm going to be starting a QFC. That's going to be amazing. Oh, God. Yeah. So that will be a load of fun mm -hmm. to do. I'm expecting it to take at least like seven months. Yeah. I would probably do one myself if I didn't hate this game's early game so much. Yeah. Just as I've done it so many times. New uh, NVHM is absolutely awful uh -huh. if you've played it so much. Right. Yeah. Now we have control of the character, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> um, straight off right here, if we were there's loads of differences compared to PC um, from console. Unfortunately the leaderboards are mixed in with each other, so technically speaking, you'll see a load of times that are like ridiculously fast and then you'll see like a load of them that aren't. Um, for this DLC, I get average of about 47, 48, but the world record is 22 minutes. Uh, that's because it's played on PC. They save quit loads of times to they skip have, dialogue. They have load time removers. Yeah. yeah. Good old solid state drives. Exactly. I just want to sign it before I forget to say, because I was going to say during the cutscene. Do you know what the uh, the original concept of this DLC was? No, I don't actually. Originally, they were going to do like an 80s heavy metal themed DLC, where you are on an island ruled by Handsome Jack's spoiled nephew. And they sp and Tiny Tina's DLC came from that. Well, they, they scrapped the idea, because initially, like, you this nephew character was going to be able to like terraform the island and do some of the same, like... Tina revising the story stuff. That's pretty good. Cool. Uh, yeah, that would have been. They thought that cool. was cool, but they didn't like the story idea, so they basically just changed the entire thing, but left that one mechanic. Ah, fair enough. But yeah, it was definitely a good idea they went with this DLC because this is by far the best DLC that they probably come out with, except yeah. for maybe the Claptastic Voyage DLC. That was amazing, despite the fact it was. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> RNG, thank you. Goodbye, Skellymans. Um, we are doing a UVHM gear run, so I am running with OP8 gear, or in normie language, level 80 weapons. Yeah. Uh, this Norfleet does roughly about 33 million damage, and with Anarchy, it's stupid. 
is so all I have to turn wait, on. Wait, is this like. on OP8? Or? Uh, no, this is on uh, 72. Okay, so, bas one. so basically, our gear, even though we're at max level, our gear is 8 levels higher than yeah. everything else. Oh, uh, okay. Because this game has overpower levels, where your levels don't keep scaling, but the enemies and, and items do. Yeah, so... I don't know what it was, be like the reason why we couldn't have the level cap go to 80, but I heard a rumor or something that apparently, like, it would have crashed the game or some stuff like that. So they decided to put it in as a separate difficulty, like level up indicator type thing. Which is weird because like people have been hacking the uh, the levels so that they can have all three skill trees yeah. built since like the day the game came out. Good, good old gib. Yep. I actually did that on one of my PC characters. Uh, Gage is a bit stupid, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, go going back to the whole... Um, different times and everything uh there also isn't any different character leaderboards as well um so the world record is done as well with salvador who can double yeah bada boom jump and yep. unfortunately gauge can bada boom jump but i prefer to grenade jump because with anarchy bada boom is a bit unpredictable you never know where your rockets are gonna go yeah because um eventually we're just gonna not be able to like aim at like just at all yeah so that's quite a lot of fun anarchy for anyone who doesn't know is a skill where every time you kill an enemy or empty your mag you gain a stack of anarchy up to a maximum of i think 600 uh yeah if you use the ter uh, yeah, yeah, the terramorphous class mod yeah um anarchy can go up to 600 and mm -hmm. at that point you can face roll the game even on op8 so if you do Shamfleet gauge which is the build that we're currently doing um you can mm -hmm. with the north fleets and 600 percent anarchy well six yeah 600 stacks of anarchy uh it will pretty much one shot every ultimate badass or super ultimate badass um it won't one shot raid bosses because obviously their health is stupid mm -hmm. um shout out to dexy for um, player difficulty because <laughs> you 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 can one shot basically every raid boss except dexy i remember yeah back in the day baru had like a built to one shot op8 gi yeah, that was absolutely stupid, especially because of um, Guy's shield. Yeah. But, I mean, most people would turn... Can I get... Okay, I get it. Uh, most people would turn around and say that that technically isn't a one-shot, but then they, I guess they don't really understand the whole, like, shield uh, mechanics for Master Guy, because that's kind of stupid. Um, but yeah. So, this first little section of the DLC is relatively mediocrely boring for speedrunning. Um, if we were running this on PC, there would be a ton of save quitting right now oh, yeah, to absolutely. skip dialogue, activate um, different checkpoints. Get and, places a bit faster. Yeah. So for shooting down the blimps and everything, as soon as we talked to the gatekeeper, um, we would have immediately save quit and then we would have had access to both of the airships. Um, and then we would have run down to the tavern. But as you can see, we had to run all the way back. So, yeah. But if we were to save and quit, it wouldn't be a time difference, like, at all. Also, goodbye. Um, Punch him so hard, he explodes! That was a terrible impression. I wasn't quite ready well, for it. <laughs> oh. no, normally, I'm better. Okay. So, um, a sk another skill that we have at the moment is um, Unstoppable Force. This just increases our movement speed, so we're going to want to um, kill enemies as frequently as possible to keep that kill skill up and keep us moving extremely fast. Um, there are some little crystal-y things that we can purchase with Iridium, and if we get a yellow one throughout the run, that is really good RNG. Um, because pretty much we'll be doing axe and speed glitch at that point. <laughs> we'll be going that fast for yeah. it will just be axe and uh, speed glitch. The axe and speed glitch for anyone who's never seen it pretty much has you crossing like entire hub levels in a couple oh of seconds. <laughs> you don't want to go too fast though; you'll clip through the map. Oh yeah. I think the game just like freaks out and just doesn't know how to handle it, so it's just like okay, bye. The game <laughs> freaks out and just make and makes you go through the floor in a couple of situations. Like if you drop enough gear on the floor, oh yeah, then you jump in, into the pile and you just go into. The you void. just walk through it. It's just yeah. like there is no floor here. You've just created a, a void in the in the floor. So. Boring. Right. Don't have any more grenades, unfortunately. Um, what I'm currently doing to increase my movement speed is grenade jumping. It's a variation of um, explosive damage, but if we remove the... Uh, if we just have our grenade slot um, with no grenade mod in there, it will put a plain just grenade in there, but it's not powerful enough to pretty much do any damage. I'm also going to activate you if I 
I don't think I have. She can give like um the oh there you go oh, hey. hey first try as well nice. So this is what the speed the speed looks like. Um, and it happens for about 10, 10 seconds ish, 10, 15 seconds. Uh -huh. Um, and as you can see, we're going really fast. I don't want to miss stabbing. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's even faster than like Salvador with Insight um, going. Yeah, I think, I think it is. Cause our movement speed, um, with Unstoppable Force is plus 70%. So, oh, we got it again as well. Oh, nice. Geez. The run is blessed. If I get a sub 47, that will be third place. Oh, Let's nice. go. But now I've said that, I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you getting that speed from again? Is it from an um, enemy you're killing or? No, there is a pixie right oh, there. Oh, the pixies, yeah, okay. so I thought it was that. what you cool. can do is if you have iridium and everything, if, as long as you don't shoot the pixies, yeah. um, they won't turn evil on you and you can actually activate them. And as you'll see, they're actually little mini flying sirens yeah. of, uh, of Maya, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna... Because this entire DLC is basically Tina working out her grief problems. Yeah, pretty much. She's in so much denial of Roland's death. Spoiler alert, yeah. by the way, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. Keep this up, game. I'm really loving there's, this. There's actually, um, if, if, if you go into the files, I'm pretty sure... I'm not sure if it's like the audio or just the subtitles for it, but in the quest for Bearer of Bad News... There's like they left out a part where you have to tell Tina about it. Um, oh my god. Um, hello? Wait, what? What? Uh, I think my controller just cut out. Oh. Controller? You controller? Got, you got too much luck with that speed. Yeah, I, I know. Um, Wait, well, I didn't think it was going to happen that quickly. Fix men. <laughs> oh. oh, right. We still got speed boost. Let's go. Right, continue. Nothing happened. Shh. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> Tell me if that's a reason. First try. First try again. Um, first try, controller. Try getting controller working. <laughs> controller didn't break. First try. <laughs> How did I lose the world record? My controller freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my gosh. what's the probability of getting that speed then? You do get different things from those pixies and speed. Yeah. Um, I think, what's the variation of them? There is, there's speed, ammo, damage. Is there a health regen buff? There's a health that regen buff sense. as well, I think so. So it's probably like, roughly like a quarter of power. Yeah, yeah it's, oh, it's like 25% chance on each there's like five, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up, I've got my Fair phone enough, on me. Yeah. yeah, go for it. I assume there's not much point having anything else because you're already OP and have loads of health, so yeah. speed is all you want. The only, the, yeah, the only one that we're gonna want is speed. Cool. It, at some Makes points sense. I will grab a ammo shine just for the pure fact of using other weapons. Um, okay. But other than that, it's just, we, we never run out of ammo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pistols and everything are like Yeah, they have four 100%. buffs. Four. Health, movement, shield, and ammo and grenade. Yeah, 20, 25%. Yeah. Speed runners. So that was like 75% just speed boost. So that's really yeah. good RNG. Jeez. Right, Davin, don't freak out. Num num. Do, do we all know the magic spell, guys, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> So throughout the DLC, as we turn around, it is about Tina grieving and everything, and she'll cut off Lily, Brick, and uh, Mordecai about, oh, hello, Shovel, please don't do this, um, about any references to her stopping about talking about Roland being back. So Roland coming up is the White Knight, mm -hmm. good good White Knight, and his, his dialogue in this DLC is amazing because it's voiced by Tina, so it's absolutely, it's great. <laughs> and it, it fits Roland pretty well, so I quite like it. Um, even though we're on max ammo, I'm just gonna activate this da uh, this ammo shine quickly. Uh, we're gonna see what happens here because it's it's quite funny. All right, I'm gonna uh, quickly swap shield. I also should have probably done buck up for this. Oh uh, yeah. I'll probably do that on the next one. Right, so I'm obviously not uh, on the staircase. Okay. I swear that green glowing <laughs> thing. I don't know what it is. That green like Lego Racers shield item. Yeah, I. Yes. There's a reference. <laughs> Don't have no clue. It's I'm just, I'm just that. Right. So what we have right now is a. Oh, I want to switch this out. I forgot to switch this out for normal one. Um, what we have on right now is an OP8 B shield. Uh, it this pluses about one million damage. I think on the shield I have yeah. to the base. The B is an amp shield. Where normally amp shields have a mechanic where when the shield is full. You can, your next shot will do more damage, but will drain some of your shield. The B has no amp drain, so you can keep getting these like bonus damage shots. Yeah, the only time it has an amp drain is when you get any damage. So yeah. I would have put buck up on, but unfortunately I... Oh, that's... Okay, Because, right. because there is a glitch where if you summon Gage's Death Trap, 
then take your shield off and have him try to use buck up, which gives you, like, which increases your shields. It, um, it, and then go into a loading screen. I'll explain that again, because it got a little sidetracked. Yeah. We'll, we'll do it in this, uh, this little section coming up now, transitioning you, into You take mind. your shield off, he puts the buff on you, then you go into a loading screen, and then you will have the buck up regen on you forever. And you can stack this if you do it multiple times. Yeah, so pretty much it will just, um, go away. <laughs> uh... Oh, you're a low fire. And okay. also, this is the conference call shotgun, which I don't know how the spread of it works, but it just makes your shots go all over the place. It's... Just, I like to kind of think of it as a Christ symbol. <laughs> yeah, essentially. <laughs> to be honest. It, it, like, crosses over. Like, oh, basically, you shoot something, the bullets hit, and then the bullets also hit coming from the side, if that makes sense. Yeah, so they've got, um, pretty much double penetration. Wink. Memes. <laughs> Um, it's a really OP shotgun, but it's really good for flying enemies, especially with Gage, because with her buck up, you, like, you could just forget shooting. The reason, as well, why we use 400 stacks of Anarchy, um, not only is our accuracy gone, but with the North Fleets, we do not have to aim. The area of effect of the North Fleet is absolutely huge. So we could hit anywhere around on the floor, on the wall, on the ceiling, and enemies will most likely die. Yeah. Um, and it also especially helps because of it being on OPA and the enemies being on 72. And we don't have to worry about gibbing ourselves because we have a sham on, which is an absorb shield, which means we have a percentage chance to uh, res to absorb damage and get and regen that kind of ammo instead of taking damage, and the sham has a 94% chance to yeah. absorb damage. So whenever we self-damage ourselves with a rocket, we're actually getting rocket ammo back and taking no damage. Yeah. Unless we get a 6% proc chance, in which case we explode. Oh yeah, that's always fun. Yeah. I, I always like that. I'm running through, there's no enemies. Um, Off. Just goes. <laughs> dies instantly. Yeah. That's the one way I don't want to die in this run, because it is a massive time waste, so I really hope that doesn't happen. Um, Especially since when you die, you lose your anarchy. Yeah, that is also something that we really want to be avoiding. Um, anarchy is pretty much just going to increase in damage, and we re even though we have level 80 gear and it does the North Fleet does like 34 to 35 mm -hmm. million damage, it's still technically not enough to one hit any enemies, and especially with big bosses as well, like um, the Kings coming up now and uh, a later boss, we want to be. Well, for the later boss, we want to be using a conference call, but we can't use our North Fleet. So having 400 stacks of Anarchy and the damage boost on that is going to really help uh, taking him out. Um, I also learned this morning, if you get over here fast enough, but you don't trigger that um, text dialogue, and as soon as they're coming up the, the ramp here, you can activate it and Davin will just be talking like this, but he'll run all the way to the tree and you can just instantly hand him the fruit. This saves probably a couple of seconds. Um, but we can't get over there fast enough because we're we're playing Gage and not Salvador. Mm -hmm. Rip. Alright, so Davin's a nice guy, right? We all like Davin, don't we? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, something a little bit suspicious. Yeah. Ooh, Just Shiva. Shiva. I always like calling this the Who Doochi Bar Split. Is, is that a reference to anything? Uh, I really don't know. I mean, know. It's, it's Borderlands, everything's a reference to everything. Yeah, ev everything's a reference to just anything. Remember movies? What's inside the box? Remember Seven? Seven is a good film. Have you yet to actually watch Seven? <laughs> I've never seen it either. It's apparently a really good film. I just remember when... When I was younger, and me and my friends, we because we we saw we found a DVD copy in the lo copy of it in the school library, <laughs> and we deliberately fucked around calling it Sir Seven N. That is definitely the canon name. Sir Seven N. Do 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 do. Sir Seven N. Do 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 do. Sir Seven N. Do 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 do. Gosh, the memes. I'm adding nothing to this room. It's great, it's fine. I, I'm Honestly, I've you been know, nervous about commentary. You know what you're talking like about, so. I guess. Right, we're gonna... A little bit. This this <laughs> chest in front of us looks a little bit suspicious. I'm gonna I'm just gonna open it quick. Oh! oh surprise attack! Just I've kidding. Bye. I've never seen that. That's before. totally the noise that thing just made. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to kill the Mimic there, uh, just to get the speed boost. Um, there are the red dragons here as well. That... Oh! 
There's six percent. Oh, that's the explosion. No enemies around, so unfortunately we can't revive ourselves. There goes the anarchy. It's not too big of a deal. If this was OPA, I would actually cry. Yeah, that that would, <laughs> if, if it was OPA, that would actually be a big deal. Yeah, um, going through, I used to run uh, UVHM on OPA because I thought like the category rules specified that if you have OPA gear, but you no. have to run it on OPA. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. So <laughs> I was running OPA for so long and I actually had a deathless... Um, OPA all the way through. Oh wow. Uh, which I was really happy about. I kept all 600 stacks of Anarchy. Um, and I got a pretty fast time on it. I think it was like um, 2 hours 25 or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, the world record, what's the world record for? Uh, UVHM? It's like 1 hour. No. UVHM geared is like a, an hour 2 I think. Yeah, something like that. Um, again, that's ridiculously fast and compared to the time that we have um, yeah. on Xbox. Um, it's just because of saving and quitting dialogue skips and um, yeah. much and, and, more glitches as well. And stuff like the, the double shots, so being able to get like double shot two bada booms just to get even more height, which allows you to really reliably do things like the, uh, the blood wing out of bounds glitches. Yeah, I mean you can do most of the out of bounds glitches because um, with the run of UVHM that I currently yeah. have, it's a 2 hour 15, which is really impressive com um, because it's on console. Mm -hmm. um, so it's actually stupidly fast. Oh yeah. Uh, that's doing like a load of skips, pretty much nailing it. Not many, not very many deaths as well. So... Winnie! <laughs> that's my favorite bit. 20 years, 20 years. I remember, I remember when Bar used to have that as a sub yeah. sound. Winnie! <laughs> Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to, uh, to Baru. Shout out to Baru. Yeah. Enjoy, I hope you like, I hope, you, I hope you're having a good time playing like Dead by Daylight or whatever it is you're doing now. Dead by Daylight this one? I mean, I don't mean that to disparage bad. him, I just, I mean genuinely. Yeah. 20! Yeah. Right, I'm gonna try and pull off a double grenade jump over this fence. Um, and who's guarding the fence, I wonder? Hmm. Wonder who's guarding the fence. Who's guarding the fence? Who's guarding the fence? Oh the god, it's Claptrap oh. 3. Can we just take him out of the game already? I hope he's not in Borderlands 3. You, you know he's gonna be. If, oh, just, why? There's gonna, they, it, oh, it, it, they're gonna make you think that he's not, and there's gonna, then there's gonna be a side quest when he's like in a junkyard with no limbs, and in that same upbeat voice he's gonna be like, Hey, please kill me! Because that's that's the kind of hu that's the kind of gearbox okay. yes. humor. Okay. Nice. nice. So that's a double grenade jump. We use three melee ticks there in order to time uh, yeah. the grenade yeah. jumps. Oh, hold on! I just remembered something. I literally watched this this morning, like uh, on <laughs> on how to do that, and I also forgot to talk to Claptrap. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. I don't have to kill myself in order to go back over oh. the gate to. Yeah, I, I saw yeah. that for a second. And I was like, wait. A oh minute. no! <laughs> Everything's going wrong. At this rate, I'm gonna get like a. 48, I think. I really want a sub 47, or a, well, to get third place uh, is a 47, 18. Um, so I really want to get underneath that so I can have a third place this, this DLC. Second place is 20 something minutes, so I'm gonna have fun. Oh, wait, hold on, we're not activating anything. Okay, right, we're gonna play a little game, guys. This is called the Guess the Password. We're gonna have, what's the letters again? Not in the order that um, it is. T. A F R T A F R. Yeah. Okay. So the letters that we have uh, for unlocking the door is T A F uh, T A F R. Uh, four letter word. If you can unscramble that and give us the answer before we actually get back to the gate, um, free hugs. <laughs> it's the only thing I can offer at the moment. <laughs> raft. I bet it's raft. Probably raft. I didn't think about raft. I think it might be frat. <laughs> Or a uh, tough, tough, yeah. That might be a word. I don't even know if that's a word, but it's totally a word now. It it could be. I mean, it's the tiny Tina deal. It is so. now. Right. So this is the first letter. Yep. Just... That mash. Wait, I forgot. Oh. oh. This is why we clap hate... trap yeah. soft locks all all the time. Right. This is the reason why we hate clap trap because the mission objectives always turn around and say. Go yeah. talk to clap trap. We hate him so much. We just skip that. Yeah. And we just completely forget. And it's like whenever I do like runs of the um, of the of the regular ass game, you always lose runs the first like ten minutes to claptrap, yeah. not realizing that you've killed the enemies and just going like, <laughs> and then you go over to talk to him again. And he just goes, 
let me know when you're done with that job. Yeah, soft locking with claptrap is um absurdly easy when you're trying to go fast. Yeah, the one thing that you have to do at the beginning of the main game is go slow. I know that kind of sounds a bit weird for a speed but run, got but it, it to is make, the best possible thing. To stop thing. claptrap's AI from snapping in half. Yeah, if you the easiest way to soft lock is if you complete an objective before the objective actually comes up, it won't register that well, yeah, you've yeah, done the objective, but it won't happen again. Um, so you pretty much soft lock. Um, and soft locking, we then have to save and quit. Save and well, quit is something that we don't want to do. But like, because... as huge as seemingly detailed focused as this game is, some aspects of it are absolutely held together with plasters and yeah. hopes and dreams. Okay, right, I'm gonna try and do a grenade jump here. Uh, right, so what we want to do is... Right, they're dead. Let's gonna spawn over there. We need unstoppable force for this. In order to get over. Uh, if you don't have unstoppable force, you won't get over that. Uh -huh. I've tried it. You just come just too short. Can't double really grenade jump it because double grenade jumps only work on a vertical scale, not a horizontal when propelling yourself mm. forward. Yeah. So... I mean, if there was any way to time throwing the first mm -hmm. one down and then throwing the, that one out there so we could, you know, jump in mid-air. That'd probably be some very specific timing. That, yeah, it's doable, mm. but mm, I don't I don't know anyone that's actually done it. How much time did that grenade jump save? Did, did you have to, like, miss the whole section, or was it just skipping that bridge? Uh, just skipping that bridge. Oh, okay. So it's just, and this yeah. is where everybody levels up to an Iron God. Shh, it's fine. We're gonna, we'll murder it. Um, one interesting thing I should point out about the Grog Nozzle, we want the Grog Nozzle to minute to the drunk effect. The reason why for this is because even though it shoots very slowly, your it bullets... It shoots like times six projectiles. Yeah, it's like, it can go from times seven to times twelve, I think, something like that. It's absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Um, so for one-shotting enemies, it's really easy because mm -hmm. you go from 34 million damage to over 100 million damage. If I remember rightly, you can pause buffer it. If you just go in and out of the menu, yeah. eventually you will get the drunk effect as soon as you come out. And that's yeah. how they do it for, like, gauge Hyperius kills. Yeah, they just manip the, uh, the, the grog nozzle and everything. But yeah. I don't necessarily really want to do that because... The damage, num the damage yeah. number is coming off the card when you pull up an off lead. Yeah, it's 11 million just... 12 Seven, is 11 million just... 777 thousand thousand. 468 times 3. Yeah, so we just round that up to 12 million, 12 times 3, 12, 24, 36. So 36 million damage per shot. Yeah. Pretty much. And that's just enough to kill everything. And then that's also multiplied by the anarchy stacks. Um, I tried figuring out the anarchy stacks, like uh, 600 stacks of it, and what the damage is for that. Um, the answer I got was probably way off, but I, it was a very long time ago, but I think it was like something like a trillion damage or something. Oof. It's a lot. At, at that point, don't you just hit like the, 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 the cap of the listed numbers? Um, I don't think so. I, I don't think you can actually hit with, even with the Northfleet, the cap of 99999k. I, I, I've so, seen people hit it in like regular ass games. Oh, fair enough. I, I Normally the numbers really go over my head, I don't pay attention to them. <laughs> It, it's so, so surreal comparing, like, this game and Borderlands 1, because of just how wildly different the scaling is in comparison. Yeah. Like, in Borderlands 1, if you got a rocket launcher that did a thousand damage, you were sitting pretty for a good while. Smash. Yeah. But... I like it. I think everyone was a bit shocked in pre-sequel when... Um, with guns in that game. The scaling was like somewhere weird it's in the middle. horrible. Yeah. It's like, a uh, little history about the pre-sequel. It came out in 2015. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. something like that. So 2015 or two, yeah, 2015. Um, and your first run of the game is going to be amazing. The yeah. They really executed like the story and VHM really well. After you complete it the first time, there is no There's replay. Nothing. Yeah. yeah, no replay. There's no late game. There's like one raid boss, I think. Yeah, the the raid sentinel, and I wouldn't even necessarily call that a raid boss. It's really easy to beat. Yeah. So. Um, and you get like, and, and as for DLC, you get like one like dome, which is crap. Yeah, the hollow dome is awful. Okay. And you also and and you get claptastic voyage, which fair enough. Yeah, claptastic voyage kind of 
makes up for how yes. bad the pre-sequel is, and that shouldn't necessarily be what the game... I mean, by the, by the time Cloudtastic Voyage came out, I'd basically already given up on the pre-sequel. Yeah. I didn't play it. I don't think I even got my first Claptrap to level 50 in that game. <laughs> I got to level 50, and then I... Oh. I also got to level 70 recently with um, Handsome Jack, the uh -huh. ganger, which is probably one of the funnest classes to run. Yeah. Pretty much just infinite ammo with absolute advantage. And then after that, we're never ever gonna get Borderlands 3 because Gearbox has exactly $3.75 to its name. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm sure Randy so, Pitchford... Someone, someone at Randy Pitchford. Hey, Randy Pitchford, you can still hear my John Lennon impression. <laughs> right. That's a reference that two people in this room will get, and yeah. one of them is you. <laughs> right, so do we know the... Does anyone have a clue? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Raft. It could be. I'm going to put Raft in quickly. I'll bet it's Raft. Right. No, you're wrong. That's right. it. End of run, quick restart. <laughs> so, what is it? Fart. <gasps> oh, come on, it's esports. I, I should have fart. known. Gosh damn it. Tap, tap. Shut up, Claptrap. Even man. Tina hates yeah. him. <laughs> everyone loves Tina, and Tina hates him, so everyone has to hate Claptrap. <laughs> There are very few people that I know that actually like Claptrap. All his side missions are absolutely boring as hell. They tried, but they failed. I mean, probably one of the saddest ones is Claptrap's birthday yeah. bash. I mean, I mean, it's still... What, what they did with him in 2 is still a lot better than... Hello! There are new missions available at the Firestone Bounty Board. Oh, gosh. Hello, Traveler! There are new missions available at the New Haven Bounty Board. See, it's like by the time Borderlands 2 came out, everyone was sick and tired of him. Yeah. Because they were just constantly... They gave him, like, the INAC DLC, which was okay. I never actually played any of the Borderlands 1 DLCs. I still need to go through General that Knox was, like, actually a great DLC. It had, like, the first ever raid boss. It had a glitched loot area that you could farm forever. It had, it had everything. The only annoying thing about it, or, like, the, the main annoying thing about it is... In Borderlands 1, they had, like, a policy of only one fast travel area per DLC area. Oh, gosh. So, if you want to get anywhere in General Knox, you've got to drive, like, for ages. Yeah. But, yeah, like, the main attract, attract point in the General Knox DLC was, one, it introduced per lessons. And, two, like, the titular General Knox's armory right at the end. Normally, you're supposed to kill General Knox, then go into the armory... Oh and yeah, you, you can glitch it, and you get a and you get like a time limit to open all of the chests. But you can totally just glitch it, and not set off the timer, loot it, and then just come back whenever. They called it the farmery, and Gearbox never fixed it. Good job. I'm a hope. I'm a hope. I'm a hoping. Please. I'm I mean, hoping. it's the uh, we're right near a save. Oh no, we yeah, don't never mind. Room. Okay. By so what allows you to revive then? You have to have, you have enemies to get a nearby. Kill. Yeah. And Oh, got you. So yeah. you have to have enemies nearby that are reachable and killable. Yeah, to yeah. get a second win. So but, with yeah. the North Fleet, it is possible if enemy is nearby because yeah. it's such a huge so, damage Yeah, the North Fleet AoE where, where is where reachable basically means in the, in the same state. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, now you guys come out. Okay, thanks. <laughs> where were you earlier? Exactly. I was shooting up there because I knew they were going to spawn, but... So the respawn point is pretty lenient, but it's the fact that you lose your anarchy. How long does it take to like build the anarchy back up? Well, for, it, it's, it's for every for... kill and every yeah. time he en he empties his clip, which is every one shot. So it's he's already so. back up at forty. But fair enough. Yeah, but we it's still. Time. Well, yeah. what's the? We have a skill where our first kill gives us uh, twenty five anarchy. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Okay, well then it so, must get. Yeah. Uh, we also then have another skill that gives us an additional anarchy stack. As well, or has a chance to give us an additional anarchy stack. Uh -huh. If you're going off just anarchy with no buffs or anything, it's 400 kills or 600 kills, depending if you're running Slayer of Terror okay. as last one. So it does take a little while, hmm. and that's why it's so um, crucial not to die if you're doing any OP8 runs. And then for contrast, there's, there's Bloodlust, the Creed, where you just hold down left mouse button and then you never reload ever again. Yeah. Hashtag Krieger OP. Good old 
There has been UV, I don't know about UVHM runs, but there's been UVHM playthroughs where they just use the Buzz Axe. Yeah. Which is stupid, because melee sucks in this game, unless yeah. you're playing Zero or Krieg. Yeah. And e even like at OP8, melee Krieg <gasps> sucks because of Silence the Voices. Speed boost. Yeah. I mean, we don't need it, because we're just going to stay in this area for like oh, 30 right. to 45 seconds. Remember, remember that one video when the Baru did when Kree came out that just had him like going through level 72 Bloodshot Stronghold with no gear at all? Yeah. So this is what I mean. It's like, I'm not shooting. I don't have to aim at the enemies, and I'm already killing them. Yeah. So it's like, I shoot there, that enemy dies up, or gets damaged up there. <laughs> oh, okay. You just, you, you look at, like, a cluster of red dots on the map, and you just look at it disappear. Yeah, that's that's pretty much your indication of where enemies are and how to kill them. So you just fire in that general direction, it, and they're gone. That's like, it's like the most satisfying thing in the game, is, like, when you just, when, when you're Salvador, and, like, because you have a skill where, like, getting a kill while gunzerking increases your gunzerk duration. Yeah. So when you're just gunzerking and you just fire off two North Fleets wherever, oh, and then yeah. you just see your gunzerk meter go up by, like, a quarter. Right. So, I forgot to mention, but if everything has gone pretty smoothly, we should be, when we turned in... Uh, the second story mission, we should be at about sub 30 ish. Hmm. Um, there's only three story missions in this DLC, but the DLC itself is quite decently long. And there's loads of side missions as well. Um, so, here, what we're going to do is we're going to put on a B shield. We're then also going to put on a magic missile. This is going to be great. I hope everyone's ready to say hi and bye to the dragon. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be good. I didn't do buck up. Damn it. <laughs> this, is the, this is the one that I need to buck up on, so. I don't need it after this, luckily enough. Remember back when dubstep jokes were funny? Dubstep jokes. Ju what? <laughs> Jub step joke. Oh, I can't even English. Remember dubstep? Right, so we just spam slag grenades at him. Ooh! None of them. I mean, he's fire element, isn't he? Yeah, oh, that's also a really good idea. We should probably switch weapons. <laughs> um, I can't even get any grenades back. Oh, I have one. And I need this to hit him. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Uh, no, no, stay, stay, stay for like coffee. I, I, I insist. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but now you've okay, overstayed yeah. your welcome. Goodbye. So Sir. those grenades lock on, but a lot of them miss. Yeah. yeah up, just the... purely because of unlucky movement from the boss. Or? Yeah, pretty much. Because the boss was like continuously moving. That's the reason God why damn. like most of them <laughs> move. The loot. grenades are really slow. Yeah. Loot explosions in Borderlands 2. You get nothing. <gasps> Good that... day, sir. What? Oh, I thought that was a legendary. Legendary money. Yeah. Good old legendary money. <laughs> legendary money. <laughs> we get a guaranteed legendary at the end of the DLC anyway. So. Yeah, but it's a guaranteed like one of four, and one of them's the flacker. Flack is a really good gun. Yeah, it is, but it's fun to dunk on it. This was a nuke flacking glitch. Yeah, I know. Really. <laughs> Ahab Pimpinel glitch, actually. Mm -hmm. OP. So, Ramon, what's causing those explosions again that kills you? Is it a certain buff or like weapon that you're using? That it's just the North Lake. Yeah, it's just the weapon we're the... using, because we have a 94% chance to absorb damage, but oh. occasionally we get the 6% proc. Yeah. Got you. That makes us explode. So, <laughs> and our shield and health combined isn't enough to pretty much... Not, not by a long shot. Yeah. Right. I mean, I can get my health up to about... I think it was 2.8 million. Mm -hmm. um, I should have also really mentioned this at the start of the run. Uh, we're also using bar as well, so this is a bar-assisted speed run as uh -huh. well. Um, bar is additional stats. Uh, most official uh, speed runs will tend to um, disable bar. This is just so where if there was like someone who has never played the game before, they have zero bar compared to someone who has like over 800,000 or yeah. something like that. Their stats are going to be like plus 30, 40 on pretty much critical hits, damage, yeah. You, you that. Yeah, you gain bar by um, badass rank by doing like, it's like, hey, you got 250 kills across like all profiles, badass rank up. Yeah, and then for every, and occasionally you'll get a badass token, which you can get put towards like plus zero point three percent gun them, yeah. damage or something. So after a while, you will have like thirty percent bonuses to everything, like max health, move speed, uh, grenade damage, gun damage, reload speed, etc., etc., etc. 
But yeah, so most speedruns will turn that off, so it just makes it fair for all players. Um, but we're using it just to make it a lot more faster. So my reload is actually a lot faster than what it would be uh -huh. um, if, I, if I had it off. Right, I'm going to see if I can get this now. I've, oh, I've yeah. gotten this a Th few this times. Fox. This is this is fine. Are you ready for this? Right, it's gonna look really close and really dodgy, but <laughs> gonna get it. Gonna get it. Gonna get it. Gonna get it. Got it. Cool. This That's is where this me. is where like the like 2010 YouTube montage would play that in slow motion with like the night wish bit. That's like da 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 da. Pretty much. You know the one. Yeah. So whenever you go into that set, like if you go fast enough. I don't actually know if it is actually on a global cycle because like I've gone through the beginning of uh, Lair of Infinite Agony at different times like milliseconds and that seems to always be in effect so I can just about squeeze through on the first cycle that we get there to. So I'm not too sure if that activates as soon as we open the door or if it's actually on a global cycle. But I've gotten that like three times in a row now so I, I would turn around and say it just activates when we open the door. That seems like the logical thing. Yeah, if it was a global cycle, I wouldn't be able to make that unless I was, well... Yeah, on the, unless mm. you, like, timed everything up yeah. leading up to it. Oh, there were no enemies up here. The red oh. dots fooled me. <laughs> yeah, you, you, just, you just killed a whole bunch of pots. <laughs> it's a shame the pots don't give me um, the speed boost. Alright, so we're gonna grenade jump our way through this bit. It's, uh, you can grenade jump while Unstoppable Force is activated, but the timing for the grenade jump is a lot different because of your speed. Yeah. So it's like, for instance, I'd have to chuck it like that, and then I'd get to it just in time for uh -huh. it to be able to propel me forward. So about, you have to chuck it right in front of you. It's all about the angle of the chuck. Chuck angle. Is that school still following me? Yeah. You just gotta line up your chuck. It's the Mario Sunshine principle, you just gotta line up your chuck. The Chucksters. Push darn it. Yeah, that's my that's my Mario Sunshine impression. That, that's really I thought I was playing Mario Sunshine for a second and that was really good. <laughs> right, so we're coming up to the uh, uh end of Layer of Infinite Agony and who Oh like it's rolling! Hey, what's up man? Hey, rolling buddy. Right. How do people ever not like the Pianters? They're so, they're good. They make fun noises. Amazing. But then sometimes they check things to the internet. <laughs> That's what they all sound like. Every everyone is the same. <laughs> Pianters is the ha Hannibal Burris face. Pianters is the same. I punch her. <laughs> Twenty. X or A X. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, I forgot it's Skrillex. Yeah. We everyone in the Borderlands community knows Angel as Skrillex. Essentially, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> right, we're going to put back on the uh, slag grenades. Uh, slag her and I told you we should have punched her. This one we should have punched. Yeah. The other one we shouldn't have. Have you ever, see, have you ever seen help. the video where um? Baru, uh, it was a sort of like Baru Gathalian stream thing where he like gave the spider princess 80 times health or something ridiculous oh. without telling anyone. Oh. <laughs> and then uh, doing a playthrough of the DLC and one they go and I was like, oh, and also be careful, she has 80 times health. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. I haven't seen that in such it a took, time. It took them like 10 minutes to get her a quarter of the way down. Just. It's some of the health is ridiculous. One of the things I highly do not recommend you do in this game is four player difficulty Dexidious. Oh yeah. Don't do it. What well, wasn't he bugged on OP8 for the longest time where you couldn't actually kill him because of the I damage? I think there was something. Yeah, health. it was so his health on four player difficulty is seven trillion health. Yeah, his like damage nodules would stop spawning after a while. Yeah. And he, he so yeah you he would be at like two at like two thirds health and you would have no way of damaging him. He's got the biggest raid boss arena because it is the entire, it's the entire map. area. Yeah. yeah. He's it's... also got the shittiest loot pool of any raid boss. Like, why would you ever do Dexy other than for bragging rights? I twist the drop, maybe. No, he doesn't drop, <laughs> he doesn't drop it. Om Dom Doc drops it. Oh yeah. 
Dexie that does, must be a well drop then. Dexy does the drops the the chopper, the shitty bandit assault rifle that just never stops firing. Okay, just for the memes, I'll put buck up on. Right, and then as soon as that blue light comes up, we'll travel. Yeah. Aha! I did buck up at the beginning of the run. Shh. I didn't do it now. Okay, so this is Dragon Key. This is the final area of the game uh, and final boss coming up. Um, as again, the time is a bit weird because we have one cutscene, then we're able to still move, then we need to go activate something else, then we have another cutscene, uh, and then I think there is another cutscene after that, it's and when, then when we turn in yeah, the mission, so we turn that's where the time is. Yeah. So, which is after like the actual ending cutscene of the DLC. I'm not too sure is IGT counts the cutscene times or I'm not. I'm not sure. I know they don't count the um, the blah, 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 load times. They only count the in-game time for it. But because this, oh, oh, you need yeah. Shh, shh. That's that's the B. No, wrong shield. Yep. Okay, right there we go. That okay. was almost a disaster. It's it's okay. There were there were enemies. I'm good. To Maybe. Quote, to quote the legendary Toba Wandoda, it's a disaster! That was a terrible Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> well, something instant kill you there, or what? Yeah, I, well, uh, what we like to call is that's pretty much called tripping. It's when you die and then instantly get back up because there's an enemy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I didn't have my shield on, I instantly died, but because I killed an enemy, I got revived. <laughs> okay, <instantly>, so <laughs> that makes sense. It was fine. Yeah. Right, I would try and do. Oh, Thanks, game. So I just got Grog Nozzle Minute, but... And now, uh, and then you slagged yourself. It's fine, it's fine, it's not OPA. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, okay. Is right. that usual, or is that meant to be that's, usual? That's normal. There's we, the ears phases. We, we, oh, yeah, we, okay. we deal a couple of bits of... So at this <laughs> point, we're meant to have 400. We do. Yep. Um, but we're meant to have 400 at the start. It doesn't necessarily really matter, so it's... Um, bruh. I could just slag him probably with the grenades. The grenades, because we're not using it. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh well, it's fine. And he's now dead. There we go. So this is the first cutscene of three. Gosh damn it. <sighs> I thought it was Jack that showed up. Rip. So as you can see, she's oh. in really hardcore denial. I love the way, this. sorry, I know this is a serious cutscene, but I love the way he's just charging up like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. everybody get ready for this, here <laughs> comes the thing. <laughs> I just ruined a serious moment. It's fine. <laughs> when we all went through this for like the first time, I'm pretty sure we all shed a tear. Yeah. I didn't even think Borderlands had a serious moment, so it was news to me. Let's <laughs> go. It kind of does, but then really it ruins think. it by having you do a side quest where you go and kill Sir Bona McShitstain. Oh, with three yeah. Testicles. Yeah, see, these are the names <laughs> I've heard of, and yeah. so I didn't expect <laughs> this just, kind of plot. Just do uh, the name game mission and just leave it on Bona Farts, and all the bully mongs are called Bona Farts. Bloody Bottles, Ferrivores trademarked. You know what? Bona Fart. That's what we're calling them. We're calling them Bona Farts from now on. Great name. Oh. I actually didn't know that um, Hammerlock was um, gay um, for, uh, until we there was yeah. a mission or something regarding... Where he casually mentions having a boyfriend. Yeah, it was like the Henry mission or something, yeah. and he mentions... The Henry guy mentioned something about Hamlet being his boyfriend and everything. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Good old triple <laughs> Never A. Never knew that. Good old triple A game representation of, oh, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's like how they didn't bother to actually write Axton as being bi, just... They realized they accidentally gave him gendered responses to like picking someone up and then forgot to make him not say them for male characters. <laughs> and they're like, oh, LGBT we'll just write in. representation, yeah. we totally did it. Dumbledore is non binary. <laughs> it, it wasn't relevant to Harry's story, you got the head. <laughs> oh, is that not a good one? Good legendary. That's a co that's a cosmetic item. It's not a. That's gun. the head you get at the end of the game <laughs> itself. Yeah. That's the handsome Why would they Jack give it mask. Then? <laughs> because it's in his loot pool for some reason. Here, they every um boss has a loot pool and everything, and you mm. can get world drops, and world drops are incredibly awesome. I think I got a pearl essence from the warrior once, and that was amazing. So same. I got a storm from the warrior. I once. got the Avenger. The, yeah. That. Yeah. 
piece of crap <laughs> SMG. Yeah. So when you bring weapons and stuff into the save, is there still stuff you could find in a legendary drop that would be handy in a run, or does that never really happen when you're bringing in? Not when you're on. Yeah, because you've already got. Yeah. yeah. yeah if you're in a uh, just a new game plan, yeah, then where obviously like they come straight from the RNG. If sort of, you yeah. get a legendary, it's confirmed pretty much but then again but then there I get is the no feeling that's the, not the, clo a the closest i saw was like when I, I know bringing up baru again but when he was doing one life he was stunned to think at one point during like it was like level 15 doing the uh defender overlook mission and he's like okay maybe i guess i'll check the vendor maybe i'll get a new rocket launcher or a slag weapon or something and there's a slagger yeah. in the inventory for krieg it was just like yeah. that is great rng this game is very mm -hmm. rng based it's like so many variations of guns. It's something like a 0.07% chance to get a legendary drop in the world. Oh, Jesus. yeah. Right, so time should be coming up just at the end of this cutscene here. Well, we got to turn in the mission, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Pretty much what it is. And then Claptrap ruins it. Oh. Damn it, Claptrap. Fear. Another serious moment ruined. Has no one in the community ever thought to just not hand the mission in or is it just it, I know that really and that's got to be the run the run's normally when you've actually registered as completed time time yeah okay got to think about this uh yeah I think run time was trouble as well I think you need to go around there to do what <laughs> So yeah. Carefully trip over the lies. Well, not trip, but like, <laughs> don't trip. <laughs> oh, we're drunk. Oh, the time, we have a 49.28. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, I beat under Fun Cannon. It's underestimate, it, though. It's underestimate. I beat Fun Cannon, so I'm happy about that, but... The underestimate is important. You had two unlucky deaths and a controller flub for like 20 seconds. Yeah. So, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, that was, uh, that was Borderlands 2. Tiny nice. and DLC. I've learned a lot. <laughs> During this run, I know very little.